can take some from everybody. And okay, that's how he doing that. Okay, I can do it. That's how you're supposed to feel. That's that's how you motivated off somebody else's success. Right. You know, it keeps it, and that, and shit like that. She keeps you keeps you in a good space, bro. It keeps you in a good space. It makes you want more. <clears throat> Makes you believe you can get more too. Right, right. Because if, because if you're, and especially if you're around people with nothing, you're not gonna really want nothing. Your mm. dreams are gonna be slighted. That's Just like problem. me growing up, you know, I was around what I was around. All I really wanted, you know, a cutlass on some gold datings, a gold chain, mm -hmm. my bitch with gold jewelry on. That's all I saw. Oh, right. You know what I'm saying? That, you gotta take that. With everything, bro, with our kids and shit, you know, you gotta. A kid only know what he want, what he see. And now you see a lot more. Yeah. Cause you got that first set of you got that first set of dreams covered. The cutlass, the women, the gold, the jewelry. You got that whole first set covered. Right, right. Then right. I wanted. Then after I got that, I met Pimp C. Mm. How did that happen? Then I wanted the fucking Bentley, <laughs> the house, and I went and got it. I, I was motivated by that. And I was motivated by going to a beautiful home. Mm -hmm. Young Buck motivated me. 2003, 2004, Young Buck took me, let me come to his home. I stayed in his home for like a week. Mm -hmm. I ain't want to leave that much. <laughs> I flooded his bathroom. I flooded, I flooded the downstairs full of eight pills. I left the wall on. I flooded the main whole downstairs. I was so embarrassed, bro. <laughs> Just think, bro, because you know I ain't up there then. I'm, 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 I'm getting there. Right. Down south, I'm up there, but I ain't really up there. Right. So just think, bro. So you bringing somebody bringing you to letting you sleep in their house, and you overflow they. <laughs> with water, bro. Like, I was, oh god, damn. I was like, damn, bro. Look, how, what did Buck say about that? Man, I was motivated from Buck. I never, you know, seeing a rapper with a big ass house and and these cars and the motivation in me. All his homies hanging around. That was some. That was some G shit to me, bro. I was motivated. How did you link with Pimp C? Uh, I was in jail. I was like 17 years old. I was in jail for like 90 days on something, man. Uh, somehow, Pimp C them got me out of jail. I mean, <laughs> got you yeah. out of jail. Yeah, and I was on jail on a um, I was in jail on a uh, on a detain, like when you can't get out. Mm -hmm. So they no bail, out. no nothing. Yeah, I had a uh, a remain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to remain, 90 day remain uh, in a stolen car charge. And they came and got me out, bro. When I got out of the gate, shit, Pim C was pulling up. Mm. The rest is like history. There's a lot of Pim C energy with you. Like the interviews that I've seen with him and how outspoken he was and how he was always seen as going over the top. I come up on the Pim. Yeah. But I don't the, the, the influence is like super heavy. If if Pimp was here today, I think you two would be. We'll be beefing with everybody. Terrorizing. Yeah. <laughs> you talking about Boosie, bro? Pimp C, what's going on, bro? You, bro, y'all just don't fucking, bro. If Pimp, bro, speak on it. We Pimp wouldn't be going for this shit, bro. Pimp would be, bro. It would be bad, bro. It would be bad. Pimp, Pimp, stand on business, bro. Your old soul, bro. Mm -hmm. You know them old souls, bro. I'm looking at one. Like, bro, you looking at one. You definitely looking at one. <laughs> but uh, Pimp was Pimp was vocal about it, bro. And he wouldn't have let a half of the game ride right now. <laughs> <laughs> half of the game right now would be Pimp Z ops. Like he would, he would not. You know, What's one I'm of the quiet most? on so much shit, bro. Like I be like, <laughs> like. Like I, I see a lot of shit that I don't like, you mm. know. But I, I be quiet on on certain shit. I don't speak out on everything. But you know, I, shit I feel like that's gotta be spoke on. I speak on. What's the off limit topics for you? 
Uh, I try to stay out people's kids, man. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with people's kids. Cause I don't want nobody to fuck with my right. kids. Right. Off, out they off limits. You can do anything to me. But uh, I don't fuck with people's kids, bro. You know, uh, even subjects about the kids now. Cause after that Dwayne Wade shit, I got a lot of backlash. Like I was, and I don't want that to be detrimental to my legendary status, cause I'm a good ass daddy. You know, I don't go at people's kids. That's one thing I don't do. So uh, I just stay off them topics about people's kids, cause you know I raise mine. I won't raise mine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's how I won't raise mine, but some people might not agree. Right. But it, it's how I raised mine, it's how my daddy raised me. Yeah. What's up with the Boosie phase, man? <laughs> uh, I've been in New York. I've been sleeping on that motherfucker. It, been, it, was, it was a little fresher than this. No, I mean, like, why? why, why it's the just boosie? me, bro. It's, it's my haircut, bro. And hey, you ain't never thought about getting dreads or nothing? Like nah, this bitch going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch going to be great. <laughs> yeah, it's me, man. I mean, do the kids ever fight and be like, "Yo, we don't, we don't want the boosie face." Yeah, I'm going through that right now <laughs> with my baby boy. Yeah, he's going through it. Bro. Well, he wants that's you to crazy, get crazy, bro. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, bro. Just out there arguing on the phone with my baby mom about that, bro. Wow. On, on God, bro. Saying what? I'm not going for. It. But they want you to do what you hear. Nah, he won't. She won't. He won't. My baby boy trying to change his haircut. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, like I told you, I'm a, I run. A, I run a tight. I run a tight house. Like you know, like certain shit that can be done in other households can't be done. Mm -hmm. Once you get 18, and we're co-parenting. Okay. You know, I'm a she. I cried. I cried tears when I saw his haircut, bro. When they changed it, bro. Like it's just special to me. Why? All Why? my other boys got it, bro. Like, this shit is, these are my twins. Tradition? Like, this is tradition, bro. So I even compromised with it and told her, okay, when he comes down here for the summer, for the summer, I'm gonna have his fucking pussy face. <laughs> now, when he go back, he can do what he want. He can do what he want. Mm -hmm. So that's what we at it right now. You know, me and, me and his mom, we, 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 we you know, Moms try to take care of them boys and look out for them, but like I tell you, he's a child. Regardless, he don't make man decisions. I don't give a damn. Mm. A daddy says no is no. And a mama's supposed to agree. Mm. Mm. We're parenting. Mm. You're not gonna let them get a fucking afro, are you? <laughs> You're not gonna let them get braids to the back, right? You're not gonna let them wear a bandana to the side, are you? Mm. So you want them with that 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 shit up there where they do that? That shit up there where they fade the side and do all the no Goku. Yeah, yeah, that sloppy ass shit. No. And, and I have a right to stand up for that, and it's a sign of respect. You know, like it's a sign of respect, and I'm and I'm not going for it. But why is it, why is it so important that they have the same haircut? Uh. It's just a, it's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's a family thing, bro. Tradition. It's a tradition, family thing. Like, we waited every time till you got ten months to cut that boozy thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we we patiently waited. <laughs> you know, like, like he almost ready. <laughs> like, bro, you, your head only fits this cut. Right. They just asked my son too. Then why y'all? Why do you ever want to change your cut? One time I wanted, but my head don't fit no other cut. You know, and I don't right. want you un uh, under me looking like another nigga. Right. <laughs> you look like a running back son, nigga. Right. You my twin, nigga. Right. You my twin, nigga. <laughs> respect, re give me my respect and be my twin for the son. You know what? Come on, bro. I'm rocking with you on that. Come on, bro. Y'all know what's going so, down. Cut his hell. Y'all know what's going down this summer. <laughs> Every single one of y'all. <laughs> and that's all I'm asking, you know, and, and you know. But my baby mama watching this, I need you right now, bro. If you watching this right now, I need you to agree with me on this situation. You know how, how I feel about this situation. You know, she was with me 12 years, bro. Like, 
she know how I feel about this situation, bro. Mm. If I cried, a, if I shed tears behind it, by looking at a picture for my, you know, my people sent it to me, like, I was hurt, bro. And I'm a stand up. I'm a stand up person. I run, I don't run around my house. I run it. Right. Mm. I don't run around my house. I run it. What I say goes. Right. If you're a child. <clears throat> If you're a grown man, you're a grown man. You can twist that motherfucker. <laughs> put a part, a Mike Tyson part in that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't give a damn. Right. But under my household, bro, I'm going to be a parent. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth you heard. Baby mama thirst you heard Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse This the way you need to serve, you heard